All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of P5S. Last time we finally defeated our first boss of the game, Alice, and now we are trying to making a deal with this guy who's like a detective. So bring we are bringing him to jail so he can see it for himself. Oh no! Let's continue. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? <laughs> If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time. Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? <laughs> Where <laughs> to <laughs> exactly? Makoto. <laughs> She's so stern. to the metaverse. So are you gonna answer me or what? What? What is <laughs> this? Is it real? <laughs> Surprise! Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa, what happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our phantom thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait. Who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... What? Chill out, Zenkichi. You've got to keep yourself together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I can't be losing my shit, like... Monster cat! <laughs> I am not a monster cat! I am Morgana! Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just has to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need <laughs> to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. How did this... What's happened to me? You were drunk. Period. Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm. His brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. <laughs> such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. This cat said my name! <laughs> He's a, a really good character so far. So amazing. Wait, I love him. Are you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! I'm not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it. <laughs> That's really something. <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's good. That's my vow. <laughs> I guess along with the talking cat. Oh, man. So he's really real, huh? In that case, 
I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. <gasps> We're going on a trip? <gasps> Finally? Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? Mm -hmm. This will be quite the little trip for us. We're going on a trip. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're going to want to either drive or hoof it. Why? Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, Kitty. Kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. <laughs> Cute. Talk about an effing buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. I mean, but at least we are traveling together as a group, so it's not bad, right? But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Oh, dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. But what if after the case is closed, no longer summer vacation? That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first. But now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Mediz. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, we have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil megacorporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts, or something. <sighs> Moron. It's true, because we are Phantom Thief, so we're doing good. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Eh, uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen, but the jail is still in Shibuya. They probably linked together somehow, so you have to take down all of them at the same time. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognition. But that's not true at all in jails. 
humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so, we're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone if stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over? Aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! There's my phantom deeds. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up! That's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right! We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. Oh, wow. Like, is this gonna be like, um... What's that thing? Well, what's that small dungeon? Not exactly small dungeon, but what's that like dungeon in the station? Like everyone palace? That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Mementos. Mementos, yes, yes. It's gonna be something like that, I think. Ooh, check the super AI. I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... A trip to reform all of society. A job for Phantom Thief. A job for Phantom Thief. Hell yeah! <laughs> I am psyched! Because the first option sounds so heavy. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. Prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. What? Yusuke, you paying for this? Am I dreaming? You actually have money? Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Well, we cut a deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. Hmm. A ride that could fit all of you. Weren't you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. How it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Technically, yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So considerate. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are y'all set with travel funds and whatnot? Nope. Not at all. Yes. We've all been saving up for summer vacation. Do we? <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. <laughs> yeah, we gotcha. <laughs> oh, Yusuke Sasuke, as always. I miss this. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually going to sleep in that thing together? No worries. The boys are all sleeping on the roof. So oh, sleeping on and the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. 
and how to X. Oh, and I'm very handy with an X. <laughs> oh boy. Senpai protect us all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, we're fine. <laughs> These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Nice scores, Unkichi! Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? Okay, let's see if it's so gonna be anything how different. how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration. Hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires. Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. Hmm. Then what make it different, I wonder? So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity. Either her smartphone usage in general, or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... And that would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Maybe the one who actually created the app? Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. We're going on a phantom so thief Alice road could trip. put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkyuji said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Hey, you guys still together? Mm-hmm. We are. Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Nice, we have a camper. And we're going on a road trip, a Phantom Thief road oh. trip. Oh, wow. Is Makoto driving this? What? Whoa. Beautiful. The retro design. Thanks. Come on. Don't go jinxing yourself. We'll try. Mm -hmm. Four bed. Wow. And a rooftop tent. They are in a power outlet for everyone, as well as cooking appliance for any culinary needs. Four bed. That's oh. amazing. Wow. Hmm. Get used to it, don't quicken up until then. Don't make sure you drive carefully, okay? Oh, Makoto, we lift this to you. Uh... What's true? Let's go! 
Hey. Yo. Oh, we gotta cook. Yes, cooking time. Ooh, cutscene too. You sure you kids gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Probably. Take care, boss. Aww. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. Ah, OTP is sitting <laughs> next to each other. This is good. Here we come! Yeah. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you sure would be a summer vacation though? Hmm. <laughs> you look unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Oh, Commissioner Kaburagi. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. <laughs> I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. Okay, let's hope you're not gonna betray us later. Hmm? However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Sure, cause that sound very bad right now. Like, are you gonna betray us? I don't trust detective. <laughs> Understood, as expected from someone so dependable. Sure. Well. I still owe you for taking me under your wing. They just feel like uh, Akechi and Sae. It's like Akechi 2.0 and Sae 2.0. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. Sure, I will. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Um... Okay, that reassuring to hear. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. You sure? You sure? You sure you won't get attached to us? Hmm, we'll see. Because whenever someone says something like this, they're gonna get very attached. Because the, op the opposite gonna happen. So you say. And how's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Oh. He, he has a daughter? Ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm not, not surprised, I guess. <sighs> no way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of him. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. Well, we'll see who's gonna use who. <laughs> well, let's see where Yo, we are going. Where are we now? Oh, nice. Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Oh, Makoto, you're so good. You're sure you don't need anyone to like switch driving with you because that seemed like a really long trip. Tochigi. Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshogu Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries. <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking. Apparently, Gyoza is pretty big there too. Utsunomi is supposed to be the place for it. You see Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna get some, right? Tricord famous too. Oh, let's just forget the ramen. Of all the things to get excited about, it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And ramen is good. I want ramen. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido, but we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. Not only that, but the supposed monarch of Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. So we have a week from now. Nice. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. Let's take our time. We should... Yeah, 
then we should pace ourselves. Uh, I guess you have a point. Wait, say we find a jail before that. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. All right, thank you, Sophia. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. There she goes singing again. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Aun. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? Aww, is she checking up on her waifu? That's good, that's good. That's good. I have my license too, so I can always drive if you want. <gasps> you do? Ah. <gasps> you two are very responsible, adult. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll try to handle as much <laughs> of the driving as I can. <laughs> she doesn't trust us, okay. Does anyone else have their license? Uh, I don't. I'm uh, pretty sure the rest of them don't. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? <laughs> I, I, I wanted to say, oh, heck yeah, I do. Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. Oh, so responsible, as, as expected of Makoto. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well rested. So you're going to keep driving Makoto? I think so, for the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, since you asked, do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there too. Okay, I'd be happy to. There's a river bank up ahead that should be perfect. Lunch by a river, huh? Oh man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Hey. Yo, look at this that. Spot is perfect. It's look amazing. Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Seriously. Ugh. And this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Shall we get started then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice! Cooking lunch with everyone! More food and stronger effect. Okay. Alright! We'll leave the main course to you. Whoa, look at this. You can use ingredients to cook food. Okay. Ooh, look at this! Short order cook. <laughs> Got an achievement, guys. Ooh, something smells great! I think we have a winner! I know that smell! That's Soji Rose Curry, no doubt! Oh, my stomach! I need... The rice has been prepared. We're ready whenever. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Oh, I could eat this forever. You're not eating, Mogana. Indeed. And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? <laughs> Sorry, Inari. The great phantom thief Futaba just swiped the very last plate. Last? Fate <laughs> is cruel. Well, come on. Don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. <laughs> you will! Please do. <laughs> it's okay. Anything for you, boyfriend. Ah, oh, that was killer. I can't even move. I'm full too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? I'm down. Ooh, why don't we roast marshmallows later on too? Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. Made everyone enjoy their lunch. Nice. The 
bottom level too. And it's night time. Oh, she's driving through the night too. I feel like we've been on the road for a while. Where are we now? We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always Beef Pound. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Mm, nice. Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. <laughs> Yusuke remind me of um, a friend of mine. He is very into um, his historical castle and all that stuff. So it's like whenever she go to Japan, she has to visit the kind of like castle, or else she won't be able to stay still. Uh, I want to take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Um, well, what should we do? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. We'll do it all. We'll do it all. <clears throat> this is where I come in. Searching. Overnight parking lots. Beef tongue. Date Masamune. And nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Thank you, wow, Sophia. you can do all that, Sophia? It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masu. Huh? Huh? Oh no. Gel? Hmm? Gel What's time up? already? The smell. There might be a gel here. Oh. Whoa. Damn. For real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet, and that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya. Alright then, we're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Okay. Probably this jail won't be as long as the actual jail because... Well, Sophia, less... can you smell the jail? Not as big? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. But hey, new location! This is amazing! I feel like we haven't been outside of Tokyo for the longest time in like P5 and P5 Royal. So now having this is feel amazing that you actually travel across Japan. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. <laughs> what logic is this, Yusuke? Please! A trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. By the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. Ah, oh, that's great. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so we should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. <laughs> sure, yes, okay. <sighs> oh, look at the... Oh, the new map! Oh, amazing! Wow, dang! Mm. Okay, so where's the statue? Look at all this! <gasps> Shit! 
Shopping! Mochi shop! <laughs> Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. Hmm. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain. Let's take them down. Okay. Yeah, I guess we was right because... <sighs> That's better. I guess this chair gonna be something a bit more relatable to Yusuke. So if we actually base this on the original P5, then you know like the first is kind of like Aan with Kamoshida, and then the second one is when Yusuke joined with Madarame. So maybe this one is actually somehow related, like uh, maybe artist type of things that related to Yusuke, and then the next one we probably have something that related to Makoto. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, Beat Tongue City. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. What? No. He, be, he just be in the back, like normal. Oh, oops. A Gyutan restaurant, that's nice. Oh, look at that! Holy shit! Is this for real? Ah, this looks amazing! Mm, this meat is so thick, so soft! Damn, that's good! Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Yusuke is crying over here. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me have some too. Uh, I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. Sorry, can't. So want to, can't. Don't be such a pig! I'm hungry too, you know. Aww. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? Oh, she looked nice. Is she our new monarch? Oh shit! Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. She she looked like she looked too pretty to be another villain. Oh, uh, nope. Not a real cat, at least. Uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds. <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh, meow? <laughs> oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. Oh, no. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? Wait, what? She definitely been in the middle of us. She spin to it in the middle of us. Oh, how else she she understand Morgana? Wow. Sus. 
this woman is very sus to me right now. This is one of those like pancake. Oh, someone talking about a pancake and mm. yeah, this woman is very sus right now. You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud. Oops. Sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. Or she could even be like the fi the final villain. Doesn't have to be a monarch. She's probably the final villain. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... Yo, dude, she's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. Huh? What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry, I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? Hmm, I could see a couple of you being in college, but not you. You've still got an air of innocence about you. I mean, we, we're only one year apart, come on, it's, it shouldn't be that obvious. In which case, you'll be taking your entrance exam soon, right? Have you decided where you're going to apply yet? Oh, forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Chinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. Is that even safe? The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Okay, that's uh, random. Sure. Not everyone should be like Yusuke. He just literally eat, doesn't care about the rest of the world. Well then. I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Ah, uh, I got carried away too. Yeah, let me see. I'm pretty sure she talked about the shit and she probably heard or well, unless she actually heard us saying about the share. Let's see. She heard we say the word share, that's why. Oh well, maybe, but right now she still seems kind of sus to me, so we'll see. Sorry, Mona chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of char on top? Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was up all night reading it. Two ah, nights in a row. I see. So is that author? Hmm? Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he's going to be at the station today. Oh, there's no way I'm missing that. All right, let's finish eating and quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. It's true. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. 
then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah, good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. <laughs> Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? The author? The famous author? Oh, wow, let's, let's see. Natsumi san! You were thinking that she was just amazing in all ways! Natsumi san! Over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Uh, he kind of looked nice. Not to be. Like, you know. I mean, his he does look stuck out, but the design kind of nice. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Or not. Or not. Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. Wait, what? This guy's so weird. Um, okay. <laughs> Poor Haru, you don't do my girl like that. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Okay, this guy going down. <laughs> the Prince of Nightmares by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. You sure it was your jealous fan and not you yourself? Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. What? No, thank you? Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? <gasps> Thank you, Ryuji! Oh, man, I, I, I wish this was us doing it instead. <laughs> but it's okay. Ryuji got this one. He looked nice. He looked like the type that could punch anyone anyway, so maybe it will be more intimidating. <laughs> oh, and yes! who are you <laughs> supposed to be? <laughs> Protector! Well, I don't think she need to because she can just literally swing an axe into his face, but it's okay. It's okay. I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. If you got a problem, you can always talk to me. And where did Yusuke go, by the way? Come on, go stick up with the guys who... <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Try me! Try me! <laughs> My, this one's <laughs> got some backbone, doesn't he? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. Sure, whatever, man. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, it's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Ugh. Who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure. But the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised, Aww. is all. Don't do that to my girl. I'm gonna act 
fucks you so bad. How did jerk like him get so popular? Ugh, it doesn't make any sense. Um, hello, Chell? Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. Mm -hmm. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes mm -hmm. sense. Exactly. That got us up in Telfus. Huh. I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. I haven't even him been a monarch yet, but he should is fishy. Let's get back to the camper. We should work out how we want to guard the intel on him. We can go home there. Okay. <laughs> but I want to go shopping. Oh. Just let me go shopping. Gee, I wanted to go shopping. Alright, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Light novel, okay, okay. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This mm -hmm. thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kinda nuts, right? <laughs> but then we don't really know anything about him? Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Wait, what? They don't understand or they don't know about cosplay? Right. But the worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him, and he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. Okay, sure. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Sure. Oh, yeah. Investigation we probably time. Let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay. Well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. Okay. Let's do that. So, why the hell are we sleeping up top? Because we are. <laughs> you can't sleep with sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. That's cute. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Like, stargazing? With all of the guy? Sure, I'll do that. Isn't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? Nope. That's <laughs> limits. You're missing the point, dude. <laughs> get it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man. It's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. 
That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. <laughs> Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. So sad, and we are like a renowned phantom thief, and we don't even can even afford a hotel. Oh my god! I'm wrong, not like that, like this, this. What? The, what the hell are you so okay? I feel I slipped into sound. Everyone peaceful breathing. You sure that's a peaceful breathing? Oh my god, Akira. For you, for you. Awesome! Alright, we can descend the station. Let's score some leaves on the smug bastard. Aww. Take it out a notch, dude. You're a bouncy or a gray scholar on some of occasion. You're not a morning person. I didn't sleep much last night. I can't get comfy without my usual pillow. Aww. Mm. So suppose no surprise. You get used to it over time, I'm sure. Yeah. Busy for a weekday maybe because if you're now from school. Okay. Mm -hmm. Short walk away. The, the, the festival decoration apparently a popular attraction. So there are plenty of shops to draw a crowd. Perhaps we should try asking over there. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's go. Time to explore the, the new town. Wow, look at that. Would be great. Can we enter? Ah, so amazing. Mm. But I want to go. Mm. Mm. I need to buy every last one. The uncle will finally notice me. You better hurry, I'll miss his book signing. What did you say? Me holding a book signing nearby. It happened very soon. Really? Okay. Hmm? How's it going? Is that what you want? We appreciate sure. your business. Is that what you want? Here you are. Come again. Nice. Okay, let's see how the shop. Oh yeah. <laughs> What'll it be? Is that all? Thanks a bundle. What a coincidence. Have <laughs> so we, we, we just eat. Oh, that's good. Here you are. Thanks again. Is that all? Here you are. Thanks again. Is that all? Thanks a bundle. Thanks okay. a lot. We bought everything. I think we just learned a recipe if I'm not wrong. Hello. 
go. Streamers. Yes. Nice to see. You have more shop. What you looking for? Pull that off. Banana. So I'll buy all the food. to see you. Will that be all? Here you are. Will that be all? Here you are. A fine choice. Thank you. Dumb. We're buying everything. But I'm going to name the universal society. Everyone talking about it lately like making me sick. They're always hiding something. Their business has been good lately to do what I must make you march. Okay. Thank you. I know him. He seems to like a product. A lot of his fans give to him as a gift. I was going to wonder how much money the fan is spending on this. Mm. Hmm. What is it that you see? We recommend. Please take this. Let I may please stay safe. I'll buy it too. <laughs> Not a fan of Nasume, but I'll just buy it regardless. Something is amiss. I'm usually packed with female customers. Probably just my man. She's not Ah, welcome. But that's what you like. It's all come again. Oh no, shoot. I'm spending all of our money. Fudge. But there's so many shops, though. I want to buy everything. <laughs> What'll it be? Oh, that's good. Here you are. Please come okay. back soon. I'll buy everything. This is literally a shopping trip. Delete hmm? book frame, delete her social media account. She's putting out a lot of work lately. She got depressed. Her last post did mention how she's tired of trying to make her voice heard in the back. Huh? story and the dialogue is so similar to what Bookworm would do. Plagiarize? Well then, Yusuke not gonna like this. Hey! Well... Yusuke gonna have to All cut right. down this guy. Alright then. I'm not done. I want to see like the clothing and stuff too, you know? We've got what you need. <gasps> oh my so that's god. what you're getting? Can you hold up? We recommend that. Can you hold so that's what you're getting? Can you hold up so that's what you're getting? I'm buying all Can of Can you this. hold all that so that's what you're getting? Can you hold all that so that's what you're getting? Thank you very much. We recommend that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> We're spending all of our money on food. This is so in real life. Oh, Big Bang Burger. Hi, welcome. Thank uh, it's you. Okay, it's okay. It's just Big Bang Burger. We've seen it before. Ooh. Does the owner would really supply to learn who Haru's family is, huh? Everything. Huh. Yeah, I think I bought everything. Okay, let's go. We're done with gathering intel and 
We don't want to spend any more of our money. That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place. I feel like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san, I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. You don't really need to read like the same copy like 50 times. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope, courage to keep going. Sure. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Okay. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Oh. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my god, is this going to be another past trauma of him? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. I mean, he probably it's have like a good reason a saint. to write, but along the way, he kind of lost sight of what he originally wanted to do. So that's gonna be pretty much like Alice, right? I know that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deed. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? You didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a keyword. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed, meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Inari. What's that you've been reading? Prince of Nightmare? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? Yeah, I, I, I'm curious yes, on the story. Yes, I suppose that's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Hmm. How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. Okay. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Plagiarism! Let me see. Oh, wow. This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. Uh, the words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. Hmm. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one. Sheesh. This one, too. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. Hmm. Makes sense. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? <sighs> if this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? Mm, 
wondered if it's actually somewhere inside the book, like Nightmare or something. He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Oh, okay. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? For like that girl in all in honesty, hospital? I'm not sure myself. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be like Yusuke art-ish. What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. It's okay. It's okay. Pretty nice ride you've got here. Mm-hmm. You like it? And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it! Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways, have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Natsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. Well, in that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. <laughs> of course. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. <laughs> beauty what? My name is Beauty Thief. Sure. I see. She's really calling herself that? <laughs> Getting back on track. <laughs> we gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares, passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Wow, thanks, Q Grams. Which means... We're crashing a party? <laughs> Why not? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Yeah, hell yeah! Nobody's gonna care what you're wearing. Just pretend you work in the industry or something. No, but I wanna see like the guy in like a tux set or the girl in the dress or something. So, what do you think? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps! I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light. Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. <laughs> I knew we could count on you, Gramps son. Gramps son. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Gramps. <laughs> That's fun. But I want to see them in Thank like full board dress. Nice for coming today. Aww. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done. I 
considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. The praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth, fiction. I, I think it's Does anyone true. really care? Because technically, these people are not exactly like um, the castle rulers before. Also, these monarchs seem like they had some kind of backstory as to why they're becoming what they're doing. You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Well, no, Yusuke not gonna like this. Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. Well, 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 Yusuke. He could. He gonna s slash you with his katana, man. Come on. Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? <sighs> yeah, we gotta slap you in the face. Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. Do <laughs> it! But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. Oh yeah, because he wasn't he way at the back and he didn't talk much. So, oh, However, nice. I was toward the back of the crowd, so there's a good chance he won't recognize me. We'll leave it to you. Right. Good luck, Yusuke. This might be our best bet here. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be off then. <laughs> Let's see. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Mm-hmm. Uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey, Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. Does he even like a male reader, though? Let's see. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. Uh, you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. <laughs> You're too kind. Okay. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. <laughs> this honor is truly more than I deserve. Oh my god, you suck cringe. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma Natsume-san? Of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. That's easy. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Well, Thank I you mean... very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. Oh, no. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash, as though it were some cheap attempt. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we do that later, please? You okay. You still want him to accept you as a friend, right? Ah, so you heard oh, wait, that, I don't did you? you need to Is accept that what I as said? a friend. Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? I guess we don't really need him to accept our thing, as long as we have the key worth it, that's In fine. In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> oh, shoot! 
This may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. <laughs> My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere oh, else. Oh, okay. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey! Hey! Well said, Yusuke! Hey, you can't! I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. Came for. Let's head outside, yes? Soulless drivel? That little bastard. What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. We'll see about that. Can't wait. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Yusuke might have been acting calm just now, but... He seemed rather sad. Why was that? Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. <laughs> At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Okay. Thank you for explaining that to me. I've been waiting for you. Our own jail. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. Okay. This new power... It seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. I will. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Nice. May luck be on your side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. All right, guys. I think that enough for today episode. I'll be ending it here and then in our next episode we'll be probably gonna try to enter uh nasume jail so i'll see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching bye bye